Good morning, everyone. My name is LazyJet, and welcome back to the Model Railway Build Project 2.0. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing not just one, not just two, but three Bully Pacifics. In fact, I've got them right here. I've got two Battle of Britons and one West Country class, City of Wales. Now, there's a reason why I bought this one is because a few months ago, I was at Swanage Railway and I actually met this actual engine. And I saw this engine on eBay in mint condition, although the box has got a bit of wear and tear on it. But I managed to pick up this amazing engine for just 105 of my pounds. But the other two, the Battle of Britain classes, I managed to pick both of these up from the model shop in Eastleigh, AC Models, for about £130 each. So doing a bit of maths, can't really do maths, but two thirties is 60, two 100, that's 260, and then add City of Wales on top, that's £365 you see right in front of me in these boxes. Now if you think about it, £365 for three Bully Pacifics, all of them are DCC fitted, mind you. That's actually quite a good, uh, quite a good selection there I think. Although 365 quid, I will admit uh, that could have gone on some supplies for building the Model Railway Build Project, but um, but you know I'm a big Bully Pacific lover. I love Southern Steam Trains, so uh, so I thought I got I'd get all three of these instead. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all three of them out of their boxes and see what they look like in close up. So if you're new to the channel, why not click that subscribe button? Uh, we are very close to uh, 100 and 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It would really, 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 really mean a lot to me. Got there in the end. Anyway, let's get these out of their boxes. <laughs> And here they are. Oh, they look so good. I'm really pleased of how I got this engine for just 105 in such great condition. But this one, I really love the weather. This is this is custom weathered, this engine. Um, but I'm not the one who weathered it, unfortunately. I wish I did, but obviously my weathering skills are not that good. But I really love how this one looks. And I love... The um the Battle of Britain uh nameplate. So we'll try and um get that in focus. The I admit these engines are a little bit dusty and the whistle is slightly wonky. There you go, there you go, big fella. Um, but I I think I do love this one the most because I do, <laughs> I just love how it all how they actually I I don't know which one I prefer the best actually, but I do like the weathering on this one so there you go three no four sorry uh i have got another two uh bully pacifics i've got another west country and a merchant navy but those two are in their boxes so i've still got uh another two that's obviously not uh not on display but they do look so good don't they and i've also got uh a squadron Let's see what i know this isn't my greatest camel work but we've got number 34062, 17 Squadron there. And I thought, ooh, we've got to have a squadron for the uh, for the, uh, for the the model railway. Um, but a little update as well. Uh, I have finished the grass on the uh, siding. Oh, my little uh, Hormy mag magnet. 
put it in my pocket for later. But yeah, no, um, I finished the grassing in the uh, in the sidings and uh, it's all solid. Uh, it's all glued down. Very nice. Hopefully it'll go in focus. It would be better if it was in focus. But there you go. The grass looks amazing. The track work, I think, looks great. I love how it's all slightly overgrown. Uh, we go to, over to this end. We've got some bit of ballast. And uh, more grass work. Oh, I, love, I tell you what, this bit here, I'm genuinely pleased of. Um, so I'll give you guys a little update on the uh, on the project. But uh, it doesn't help that the camera keeps going out of focus. You've got to film this stuff, Oliver. But the uh, the construction room obviously is still in construction. But I have discovered something. The uh, the boxes are the perfect size to fit underneath uh, the gap of the platform of the model railway track. Uh, section and the actual table itself so every time i've got to like you know get a loco out just put the boxes in between the gaps that's um that's a feature that i like and i um i'm gonna keep that as a feature but uh unfortunately i have had to abandon the uh main line idea it's just gonna have one single track going into the tunnel um and then it's gonna go all the way end then there's going to be a station, uncouple, loop round. But over here, I'm plan planning to build a big sort of um, siding uh, storage yard so you can fit like coaches, trucks, engines. Um, still a lot to do, but um, but it's getting there, though. I've got some cows in a field. Lovely. I need to do more work on the, uh, on the fire duct because it um, looks a bit neglected. So I need to you know make that all nice again still need to do grass on this section but uh I've run out of grass so i need to uh go back to the model shop and pick up some more grass but um this section here this uh is what i'm truly proud of of, of the uh, of the hill the tracks the bridge the cars and the ballast i think um i did have i did have a problem with this i have to admit uh i actually had to cut out a section from here uh, to here because um, there was a bit of track that was very badly buckled and it kept causing trains to either derail or um, cut out so in order to fix that I actually had to completely cut off a section of track and put a new section in so I don't know if you can actually tell of our um we can actually see like there's evidence scratch marks uh, on uh, on the plaster on where I had to completely cut cut rip replace and fix but um it wasn't easy but uh but i've 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 managed to fix it and that's 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 what's important that's good do need to add more grass here cuz um all this grass here is not actually glued down yet. I've actually run out of glue as well. So I um, need to pick up some more glue from the model shop. So lots to do. But over here, I've added uh, much longer and better grass. And it just looks amazing. I also had to replace uh, the bend that's coming out of the uh, branch line onto the switch track. Because um, obviously you can tell it's not it's not fixed. Because the, uh, the, 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 the corner I had... Um, was too steep and it caused trains to sort of go off at an angle and it just kept cutting out because the, the wheels were not making contact with the rails properly. So I had to rip off the uh, the old uh, corner and replace it with another one. But I'm just going to leave that loose for now until I can figure out uh, a solution in order to make this so it doesn't go all uh, all wonky. But uh, but that's, that's that, that'll do just for now. But I think my main focus has been this section here where I wanted to get just at least one section of table uh, not finished, but like looking as close as to a nice little railway as I possibly can. Because obviously on this side, it's just nothing. But here um, we've got lovely scenery. Now, it is going to take me a while to get it all done. But from this angle, it's it's looking it's looking like a real railway, so I'm, I'm genuinely pleased of how this has all turned out. But anyway, back to the engines. So I've got three new bullied Pacifics. City of Wales does look amazing. Um, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to give these guys a little run and try and get some good footage for you guys. Because, like, you know, I'm a YouTuber. That's 
that's what I'm meant to do. Um, but I do like this one here as well in the uh, in the southern green. Or is it, be well, it's southern, isn't it? Yeah, it's southern green, but it doesn't have a British Railway or southern logo on the tender. But it still looks pretty good. Um, anyway, um, which one shall I run first? I think I want to run this one. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So let's get 17 Squadron and City of Wales in the siding. Now, I want to try and move them under their own power. So let's see if this works. So engine 17, that's 17 Squadron. It's got power. Let's move it back. There you go. Oh, it's a bit bumpy. And that might have something to do with the track, not the, uh, not the engine. Flip the points. Point set. Uh, yep, yeah, those are points are fine. Those points are fine. Those points are definitely fine. I might move Bude slightly back. There you go. Right, put 17 squadron forward. And put you in the siding. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, yes. So I'll pop you just there. Ooh. Get a nice better view from this angle now. Oh, look at that. Oh, and look at that nameplate. Oh, that's beautiful. That is amazing. That is gorgeous. I don't, don't have any buffers at the end, so I've got to be really careful. But I do love the grass. The grass just makes it a lot better. Right, uh, City of Wales, you're next. Uh, what number are you? I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue. I forgot. I think it's, I think it's engine 34, I think. Wait, no, I think it's engine three. Let me check. Oh no, that's 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 engine three. Oops. Um, what number was um? What number was was City of Wales again? I forgot. Is it two? Oh, it's two. There you go. I knew it was one of those numbers. Let's bring her backwards. Yeah. Uh, oh, little bit of a stop there, but never mind. Switch the points. Uh, is it going to go backwards or forwards? Forwards, there we go, that's what we want. Uh, oh. These engines do sometimes stop on uh, on these express points because um, these, are, these these models, I have to admit, these are very, these are older models. These aren't like the ones where it's got pickups um, in the tender and um, on the engine because uh, I think these guys only have pickups on the engine itself and not the tender, which is why it keeps cutting out on uh, express points because th these models are quite old. But they are very nice. So engine three, which was uh, this Balabrin, I don't actually know its name. Bring it back slightly. There we go. Um, this one is a little bit j juddery, but uh, it does run very, very nicely. But I think now we should give it some coaches to pull. I think that's a good idea. Right, so we've got our coaches. We've got one single Pullman coach and one maroon red Mark One coach. I was gonna have three coaches, but I thought we'll start off with two because um, I don't want to push the engine too much on a first run. So let's give us some power and see how well this thing runs. Oh wait, no, that's backwards. Uh, forwards is what we want. There you go. Okay, that was the first forward test. Now let's try backwards. Give a little bit of power. Uh, oh, that is a bit slow. Is it? Yeah, that's a bit too slow. Let me just give it a bit more power. Ah, there we go. Ooh. Running quite well, I think. And then back onto the branch line. Uh, ooh, don't know what that was.
Okay, well that went well. Let's try again and forwards. Nice and easy. Slow it down just a little bit. Don't want to go too fast. Oh dear, one of the front driving wheels has come off. There you go, big fella. And stop. Now I've got to admit, I have made a little error uh, on this model railway project. Uh, the controller is on this side and the train's on that side. So it's quite hard to film it on that side than it is on this side because this is where the controller is. And it's much easier to film it here and more harder to film it there. Hmm. Right, let's bring it back, shall we? So you go forward or backwards? That's backwards, okay. And stop it right there, lovely. I reckon if I had a mainline model railway project that went around in a loop, I think these engines will work perfectly. But I'm not sure these are designed for branch line work. Hmm. I think I might have made a bit of an error here, but never mind. But here are the big three, uh, two about the Britons and City of Wales. Again, I've got uh, Bude over there and I've got two more Bullied Pacifics, but they're in their boxes. Maybe one day I'll get all of them out and have them on display. But at the moment, I'm having a bit of trouble with, um, with this model railway project because over here, um, off camera, it kept coming off the tracks and causing problems and i'm not sure what the problem is but i think it might be this problem how it, i don't know if you can see it on camera how it slightly dips uh around the corner onto the viaduct but generally I, I don't actually know i think i might have to rip up another section of track and replace that which is going to cost more time effort and monies that is uh that's not good unfortunately but like you know this is what I signed up for, but I have to be honest, I'm kind of regretting the branch line system now because these big engines don't do very well with tight corners and I can't really run them at speed because they'll just crash off the ends. So, hmm, I've got a bit of a situation here. I think I've made a bit of a big mistake of making a branch line. Now that doesn't even go in a loop. Hmm, what do I do about this, people? Because I don't have a clue. Again, another problem for another time. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know what you think of my three new uh, bullied Pacifics. God, these engines are just amazing. I love Bullied Pacific so much. There's just something about them that just looks absolutely stunning. I think it's the way they look, and it's the wheels as well. I do love uh, Bullied Pacific wheels. They do look great, don't they? Um, but City of Wales look amazing there. Next time, I'll have a go at running that. But uh, the Model Railway Project is having a bit of trouble at the moment. It's um, it's not running as... as the, the Model Railway Project is not running as well 
as I hoped. I mean, it looks amazing. Without a doubt, it, look, it looks great. But I am having a lot of trouble with this right now. Um, and honestly, I'm not really happy about the fact it's only a one-track line, not a two-track line. Might have made a bit of a mistake there. But um, hopefully, if I want to abandon this project and start it all over again for the Model Railway Project 3.0, um, I'll try and actually salvage this track because track's very expensive and I don't want to throw this all away. So I think I'll try and maybe save the track if I ever decide to abandon this and start again. But, I mean, it looks great, but I'm just worried that it's not exactly what I want. But I'll, I'll let you guys decide. Um... Might have to come up with maybe some new ideas. But at the moment, the project, I'm not so sure about it anymore. I mean, in, in my head, it did. Well, not did, but in my head, I thought a single track branch line would have been a great idea. But now I'm not so sure. And the fact I, I'm not happy with the fact that it ends... I would prefer if it, I would prefer if it was in a loop because then I can run these big bullies in a loop at high speed because that's what they're really for. They're not really made for branch line services. Ah, uh, I'm in a bit of a pickle, people. What shall I do?